It's a new country, so it's time for a new look. Dina, here we come. In this episode, we visit the multicolored mountains and experience the culture of northwest Argentina. We travel down Ruta 40 and see the amazing landscape. And it's the time again of the crossing the Andes for, I don't know, the how many th time. We've crossed again now from the western side, close to the sea, into the eastern side with the big plains of Argentina ahead of us. So, muchas gracias, Chile. Ciao. We'll see you soon in a month or so. And hola, Argentina. Are you excited for Argentina? Yes. Wine, meat, cheap. That sums up Karin's expectations, so let's go! A new part of our adventure starts today! After crossing the border, we were welcomed by our old friend, the Howling Wind. So we found shelter behind some derelict adobe buildings on our first night in Argentina. We did not know it, but the wind would be our constant companion for the next few days. Luckily, we've become used to it in Bolivia, so we could handle it much better. The next morning we headed further southeast and started to drop down into a semi-arid area and suddenly we started seeing cardone cacti scattered across the rocky landscape. These magnificent trees are indigenous to this part of the Andes mountain range. We were lucky enough to see some of them in full bloom. These cacti would be a regular sight over the next few weeks as we traveled south along the Andes mountain range. We popped into a very touristic town Purma Marca to look at the seven colored mountains. That's a really spectacular sight at sunset. Before we had to find a wild camp for the night on our route south. And a very big welcome to Salta City, Northern Argentina. Our first big stop in our tour through Argentina. Let's go and explore the city and see if we can find some interesting restaurants, food, wine. Yes. In Salta we had the privilege of visiting the Museum of High Altitude Archaeology. Three mummies from the Inca period is studied and displayed in this museum. The mummies were found at a very high altitude of 6,700 meters and was preserved by the cold temperatures and low humidity at that altitude. They are considered the best preserved mummies in the world. Then we got a taste of the Salta nightlife. In Argentina, people eat very late. So it was quite a change for us to go out at 9 in the evening and only have supper after 10. Very different from our normal camping routine. We met up with Tom and Evelyn for dinner and a Penas concert. Penas is a typical folk music from the Salta area. It is upbeat and energetic and the crowd are encouraged to join in on the dance. After Salta, we head back into the mountains to San Antonio de los Cobres to do something we have not done before. Today we are doing something very, very different. We are taking a train into the clouds, getting out of the car a bit and onto a train. Are you excited, honey? Yes. Just to, to change the pace a bit. But we're not sure we're going to get on the train. There might not be tickets. Yeah, we checked on the internet and um, it was full for today, but we're driving and holding thumbs and we're just gonna pop in because we weren't sure when we were gonna get here, so we didn't book because yeah. we don't don't always know whether we're gonna make somewhere in a specific time. But yeah, let's go and see if we can grab some tickets. Karin used the charming personality to ensure that we get the last of the tickets for the train trip. The train to the clouds are a very touristy okay. excursion, very popular with retired people and not something we would normally do. We have found that it's sometimes a good idea to get out of the van and do something different. It gives you a glimpse into a different way of traveling and gives you some energy when you get back on the road. 
This trip was also an opportunity to appreciate the landscape at a slower pace and look out for humans that it's so difficult to speak. The train ride is a four hour return trip and we end up back at San Antonio de los Pobres. It was a slow, interesting experience, but it's not for everyone. We would not do it again once was enough. We've left behind the boring tar roads and we're heading down Ruta 40. Um, we've uh, climbed up to 4,800 meters. Karin has gone to add one of our stickers to the board on top showing the height. As in a lot of places, people are offering trash to the guards. I hope you can see the little gaucho or cowboy with a cross here. But the car is literally shaking in the wind. And Corinne nearly blew away. It's a no hunting area, Prohibito Kazar. So there must be quite a bit of game. We've only seen a few llamas and a herd of sheep so far. But it's a beautiful drive. The mountains are multicolored from green, black, to white, to yellow, to, the, to reddish hues. Is it, is it slightly... Um, is it slightly... Is it slightly windy out there? No. Why the car was struggling so much? Yes, it's really... Oh. Yeah, take it I just slow, want to sweet. gather myself. Yes. Okay. And then we can start to drop in here. Ruta 40 follows the Andes on the eastern side from northern Argentina to the south in Patagonia. It is a road that we would connect with again as we travel down south. We wanted to learn more about the cacti that we would be seeing all along the route, so we had to pop into a national park dedicated to this specific cacti. So what did you learn today, honey? The love story of how the cacti started and why there's a flower. What did you learn? That they take uh, uh, 50 years before they flower. How small is the plant in the first 10 years? 10 years. Like not even above the soil, so it's quite amazing to think that all these plants must be 50 years old. Or longer, or yeah. older. Yeah. Because they've got flowers. And there is a shitload of them growing. It's even more than the tourists. And we are in Parque Nacional Los Cordones, park of the cactus. And beautiful mountains. Another beautiful drive with very different uh, rock formations. Eh? Not as sharp as my point. A lighter brown color. This is what? This is a sign. Oh, the dial in Fletcher. Fletcher. Our last stop before heading to Buenos Aires was the Pachamama Museum and Art Gallery, also called the Museum of Mother Earth. This museum celebrates the local culture and connection to the earth. We really found the outdoor art the most fascinating. All the art are made of stone and displays themes of the local culture and art. Uh, through the day is gone. 
um, the weather is nice and warm and now our big chase starts we are going to see if we can catch some of our friends the buzzing mr buzzington on the road and the linen bend if we can catch them in cordoba they have been behind us all the way since Colombia and now they are in front of us for the first time. Maybe we can think up a prank to pull on them because they're not sure where we are. Uh, we've just been telling them where we're right behind them. And then it's a big chase down to Buenos Aires to visit our friends Laura and Christian. But it's a lovely, lovely day out driving since we're out of the dust. Yeah, since half an hour ago. <laughs> yes. Out of the wind, out of the dust, into the green. Thank you for the green. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly the landscape changed. It was yeah. probably a 20 minute... And we're still just going down, and, and down, we, down. Yes. After meeting up with Ben and Annelien from Mr. Buzzington on the road in Cordoba, we had to head towards Buenos Aires. It was a 700 kilometer route through the Pampas of Argentina. It's mostly flat farmland and we just drove it as fast as possible. Very big welcome to beautiful Buenos Aires. We are back after more than a year away and happy to visit our friends Laura and Christian again. You happy to be driving in a big city, honey? Across the road. It's not as bad as, as previously. It's just kind of used to. Yeah, experience counts. So we're gonna meet up again with Christian and Laura and Ben and Annalina of the Buzzingtons and then um, enjoy the, the city for a week or two. And we are giving our trusty cover to the tough little guy a makeover just cleaning up all the paintwork and doing a nice respray so that he looks all pretty and ready for all the new owners. We parked our trusted van and then started exploring Buenos Aires while the van got a few upgrades. We explored the city, experienced political rally, and then headed south to visit the coast of Argentina. And we've made it back to the sea. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our patrons for making these videos possible.